Hey everyone, I thought it would be fun to just take a few minutes today to tell you a little bit about how the Maneri family is getting through this crazy epidemic and all this time at home. And it's two words, board games. We are a huge board game family. We have a gazillion board games. We always give board games when we go to birthday parties. And uh, I wanted to tell you about our favorite ones and maybe inspire you to have a fun board game night with your family at home, but also with people who are not at home. So I'll be telling you as I go which one of these games you can play remotely. So the first one I'm going to start out with is called Cover Your Assets. And this one you cannot play remotely. You have to play with people that you're physically with. But it's a strategy game of trying to collect assets in pairs. So a pair of homes, uh, I could have a pair of stocks, there's also you know, stamp collections, money under the mattress, and the idea is I'm trying to amass a, a large pile of assets and everyone else is trying to steal from each other and so it's a great game uh, for people who have a good sense of humor because <laughs> you can be ahead and then you could suddenly be very far behind. But um, Everyone we've ever given this game to has absolutely loved it. So highly recommend that one. One that we just started playing, uh, one that you will not be able to play remotely, you have to play it with people in your home, is called Clash of the Cards. And we had to watch a YouTube video to understand it, even after we read through the directions. But once we got the hang of it, uh, it's such a fun strategy game. It's just a card game. Um, and I really think that if you're looking for one of, the, like a, one of those games that like, it really anyone can win. It really, it really just comes down to the cards you get and how well you're understanding the strategy. This is a really good one. I'm not gonna get too much into how to play it because it is a little complex. Um, one we've been really enjoying playing at home but also with people remotely is called Pun Intended. And you basically get cards, and I'll show you one. So it has the letter P on it. So all of the answers have to start with the letter P and you've got a timer and you've got six clues. I'll read one of them to you. Food for runaway dogs is sold by the pound. So you're, it's a pun that you're trying to figure out. So play this at home with your family, great. But what we've been doing is either texting cards to other people, either in, in batches so that we can play with them or partnering with people who can't necessarily see the card. So I'm reading to my partner or we had a Zoom call with, a, with about probably 10 of us and one person was assigned the reader and so they read for every single team so really fun a game to play with people either here or or away it's a 13 plus game definitely need to be a little older so because you would you just wouldn't know some of these puns you wouldn't wouldn't get it um but for little ones a kind of a silly game that that we've been liking is called taco cat goat cheese pizza. And it is the simplest game out there. Basically what you're doing is you're in the order, you're saying taco, next person's turn, cat, next person's turn, goat. And if what you say and what you actually put down matches, you have to slam your hand on top and the person whose hand is last to the pile gets the pile. So taco, goat, cat, cheese, pizza. Super simple, but it's a really, really fun game. A big win uh, for the girls this Christmas was this game called Passports to Culture. And I love it. You can also play it remotely. You don't have to be with everybody you're playing with. But you're getting uh, a trivia card, but everything is a multiple choice answer, so an A, B, or C. I like this because trivia just comes really difficult to some people, especially if you're younger, and it can be really frustrating. But the questions are hard. Like this is a card about Senegal. And most people would not know some of the answers to these. Like, how are traditional style meals eaten in Senegal? Are they A, sitting on the stool, B, standing around a fire, or C, squatting on the floor? Who the heck would know that? So everybody gets an A, B, and C card. And if you're playing with people remotely, just create something on Word or something, and they can just hold up their A, B, or C. Keep score of the right answers if you're playing remotely. But if you're playing with your family at home, you, you get these passports that you're trying to fill out. Um, so it's a it's just a fun trivia game and, and it's really light because no one really knows the answer. Most of the time people are guessing. Um, so yeah, fun, fun trivia game. We've been playing bingo. <laughs> we have an actual like bingo caller thing. 
Um, so we've been doing bingo games, even charity bingo parties online, which is really fun. So something if you have a big family and one of you wants to invest in the whole bingo kit, um, definitely something that you can that you can do. Another game that we are loving and actually returned back to after a long time is, is categories. So if you're playing with just your family, obviously you can just use the cards that come with it. But what I did is I recreated the cards so in PDF so I could mail or email them to people who are not here. We played categories with Mark's um, parents a couple of weeks ago and we just sent them the card and you, you pick a letter, you set some sort of timer and you go at it. So another great one that you can, you can play. And if you want a copy of those PDFs, just message me and I'll, uh, I'll email it to you. An oldie but a goodie, Uno. So play the regular rules, but what we've been doing is Uno countdown. So you start off with eight cards, play that round. Then you start off with seven cards, you play that round. Six, five, four, three, two. So the last round, everybody only gets one card. But either one-on-one -on -one or with a group, it's just a fun new way to play a game that maybe you've already played 100,000 times. But uh, I really like, I have to credit my daughter Elizabeth for coming up with that. We just got this one about a week ago. It's called um, Ellen, it's Ellen DeGeneres' um, Danger Word. And you'll probably remember it, something a little bit like password. So I'm trying to get my partner to say the winning word without them saying the danger word. So for example, if the winning word is pepperoni, I have to try to give that person clues that isn't gonna let them say pizza. So you can play that one remotely for sure. So maybe the two people that you're in your home with are partnered with people who are not at home and you're playing over Zoom, but that's a really great one. And then the last one I'll say, and I won't, I won't get into how it's played, but I can tell you that it's just a really fun game and we're really enjoying it. It's called Sephiro and it's a very calm game. <laughs> it's just, it's a quiet, calm game. And I think some of us just need some quiet and some calm. So that's a good one. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. If you have any ideas, I would love to hear them too. You can either leave it in the comments or you can message me directly. But um, yeah, we're just trying to make the best of a bizarre and heartbreaking situation. And for us, that's making time every day to just play and laugh and have fun and connect. And board games have really been how we have managed to do that. So I hope that helps. Have a great day.